friends welcome to welding inspector interview question session part 6 here we are going to discuss about aramco and cbt exam questions to receive all our videos kindly subscribe our channel also if you have any questions comment your questions in comment box what are the different types of hardness tests carried out brinell hardness test rockwell hardness test wicker hardness test Normally, Brinell harness test will be carried out in field. What is direct current electrode positive? That is DCEP. The arrangement of direct current arc welding cables in which the electrode is the positive pole and the workpiece is the negative pole of the welding machine. In this polarity, we will get higher deposition rate. What is direct current electrode negative that is DCEN. The arrangement of direct current arc welding cables in which the electrode is the negative pole and the workpiece is the positive pole of the welding machine. In this polarity we will get higher penetration rate. What are the types of gasket? That is full face gasket, spiral wound gasket, ring type gasket, metal jacketed gasket, inside bolt circle gasket what are the types of flanges slip on flanges socket weld flanges screwed flanges lap chain flanges welding neck flanges blind flanges and reducing flanges based on the face of the flanges that can be classified into flat face flanges and raised face flanges. What is the profile imperfection? The defects like spatter, incompletely filled groove, lack of root fusion, incomplete root penetration, shrinkage grooves, root concaving, crater pipe, excess penetration, band through known as profile imperfection. Types of probe in UT. They are normal probe, angular probe, triangular probe. Angular probes are available in 45 degree, 60 degree and 70 degree. Also 30 degree and 90 degree angular probes also available. Why post heating is done on some pipe after the welding is over? That is to maintain uniform homogeneous structure. Normally the microstructure in the heat abated zone will be bigger. So to get the uniform structure in the weldment, we are going for post heating. What are the weld outlets and where they are generally used? Weld outlets and sock outlets are self reinforced fittings. Weld outlets are used for butt welded branch connections where standard T is not available due to size restrictions and the piping is at critical and high pressure service. If heat input increases, what will happen? Yield strength decreases, tensile strength decreases, percentage in elongation increases, notch toughness slightly increase and then decreases, hardness decreases. What is the cause of porosity? That is faulty composition, example high sulfur content, then presence of oil, grease, moisture and mill scale on the weld surface, excessive moisture in the electrode coating, inadequate gas shielding, low welding current, quick freezing of weld metal. What is annealing process? Annealing is a heat treatment in which solid is heated then cooled at very slow rate. It is used to obtain, to relieve the stresses, induce softness, refine crystalline structure, produce a definite microstructure. What is normalizing process? Normalizing is a process in which a yeah, ferrous metal is heated to suitable temperature above the transformation range and is subsequently cooled in air at room temperature. Normally it will be heated for 900 degree centigrade for ferrous material. What are the tests required for analysis of consumables? Uh, there is two tests used to analyze the composition of the consumables. One is chemical analysis. Another one is PMI. 
name the instrument used for measuring the density of radiographic film that is densitometer it is used to measure the density of the radiographic film normally the density range should be within 2 to 4 what are the factors on which the density of radiographic film depends that is the total amount of radiation emitted by x-ray or gamma ray amount of radiation reaching the specimen amount of radiation passing through the specimen which markers are used on ss materials low halogens and low sulfur markers are used that is sulfur level must be less than 200 ppm